guys. Thank you for watching Rebel for Christ. Um, this is C.R. Henderson, and I'm super excited to be talking to you today. So today I'm going to be talking about just these high expectations that people put, place on us as Christians, even people who claim to be Christians themselves. This is something that I have seen throughout my own life that has really even kind of upset me a little bit. And, you know, um, I'm really trying to operate in the Holy Spirit and not out of the flesh. So I just wanted to start by talking about um, people who have these high expectations for you, which are totally expected. Like we should, you know, we expect people to think highly of us as well, but not when we don't give ourselves these high titles. For example, um, this came up because not only have I been seeing this a lot in my life, but I've also been seeing this in others' lives, my friends' lives, and people in entertainment. So I was watching uh, Four Weddings. That's the name of it. Four Weddings. I was watching Four Weddings, and I really like Four Weddings because... Because, um, not because I'm trying to get married, but because it's a show about um, the weddings, and a lot of times we do have Christian women on there. Um, so the show is basically you have four weddings, and everybody's competing to have the best wedding, and then the best wedding wins a trip, a honeymoon trip, wherever. And so... Um, so yesterday, as I was watching, there was a girl who was Christian and her and her husband waited till marriage to kiss and to have sex and everything. I mean, waited her entire life, not just with him, but with everybody. And he waited for her. And so they had a beautiful wedding ceremony and everybody knew that, their, you know, everybody said their wedding ceremony was beautiful. But, you know, when it came down to the reception, her and her husband were dancing together. You know, there was a little grinding and just, you know, it was a lot of, you know, fun, I guess, to them at the wedding. But one of the girls who was rating her wedding gave her a four out of ten because she said it was a beautiful ceremony. But I don't like how she had the grinding. Like, I thought she was Christian. That's really raunchy and stuff. And so to me watching this, I'm like, okay, so she's going to talk. She's going to be here talking about something extra Christian. Like, oh, but she shouldn't have been doing that because she waited till marriage to kiss and to have sex. So she already put place this girl on a high had high, you know, on a high level. The woman is married now. So honestly, her and her husband can do anything. Like that is so honoring to God when you're loving your spouse, when you love your spouse. And so um, they're married now. But when I was, I was waiting for this girl who made those complaints, I was waiting for her wedding. Her wedding was had nothing to do with Jesus. It was not Christian at all. I mean, I didn't really see Christ in it. So I'm like, is she even really a Christian? And I see this in my life in general. A lot of people look at us as Christians and they hate us when we do something that is contrary to what they think we should be doing. And it's important for us as Christians to know that we only have to please God. And we have fun and we are allowed to have fun. We are allowed to mess up sometimes. Um... Not intentionally, of course, but I don't think that it was a problem that she was dancing with her husband. Um, another example for me would be, you know, I went on my family reunion and my younger cousins were trying to teach me how to whip. And so I was trying to learn how to do the whip dance and I'm still not good at it. I suck at it, actually. I'm really horrible at it. I was trying to learn how to do the whip and everything and um you know all these dances and my one of my cousins was like oh aren't you rebel for Christ you can't be doing that like I can't believe you're doing that like aren't you rebel for Christ you know and it was like a she was joking around but at the same time it's like that still that idea of an expectation like hello I am rebel for Christ but I'm also 19 years old a 19 year old girl named Ciara Henderson where I do have a personality you know people don't expect Christians to have a personality they don't think that we don't have fun and I'm not saying that it's okay for us to be worldly totally not saying that but at the same time we are allowed to be ourselves we are allowed to be fun and we don't have to hold on to expectations of religious expectations by non-religious people that's the crazy thing to me when it's someone who claims to be a christian you know people is always the people who claim to be christians 
don't live like they're Christians, but they hold you, a person who, you know, displays Christ in their life, they hold you to this religious expectation. And they're not even religious people, but they hold you to a religious expectation. And, you know, I think that's the problem, problem right there. Because so many people, so many people, whenever they meet me, they say, oh, you are so religious. And I don't know, like, if the people who are watching this, if you're on fire for Jesus too, I pray that you are. And I pray that even through my ministry, through my videos, that you're, you de desire God even more and more. But, um... You know, and you will become persecuted by people. People will say you're super religious and think that they're you're weird for that. But I will say that, you know, that, that word is just so annoying to me. <laughs> Whenever I see someone or I'm talking to someone, they're like, oh, yeah, I can't talk about that to you because you're real religious. Or they just always say, like, you're real religious. And I'm just like... That's one of the biggest things to me where I can kind of identify if someone is really Christian. And I know it sounds so horrible, but all of the people that I, a lot of, most of my friends are Christians on fire, Christians, so totally in love with the Lord and they are walking with God day to day. You know, like this is our lifestyle and we never, ever call each other religious. I will never say that my best friend is super religious. Because first of all, religion is everything. That's not Christianity. Like, like someone can be atheist and be super religious. You know what I mean? Like, because if they are not into any type of religion, but they study, you know, you can be agnostic and be considered super religious because you're constantly studying religion and, you know, deciphering religion. I don't think that I'm super religious. I think that I'm super Christian. I'm super in love with Christ, super Christ-like, trying my hardest each and every day to display Christ's righteousness. Not my righteousness, but Christ's righteousness. That's how it is. And I think that's how it should be for everyone. And so I just feel like that's just a random thing whenever someone always is like, you're just so religious. And in my head, it's like, yeah. it's like chalk on a board. No fingernails on a chalkboard <laughs> when someone says you're so religious because it's like especially someone who claims to be christian because i'm like how are you gonna call me so religious when you call yourself a christian as well it doesn't make any sense and i just really think that people we all need to get our minds right because we don't have time not just cursed Christians who are like totally on fire for the Lord, but Christians who aren't totally on fire for the Lord. Like lukewarm is worse than cold. Lukewarm is worse than frozen. Don't be lukewarm. Get hot. Get, jump over and get with Jesus. It's either hot or cold. And it, you don't have time to be lukewarm at all. You have to be hot or cold. But also realize that, you know, Christianity is fun. I have so much fun. And I don't let other people's religious, non-religious people put their religious stamps on me. Because I am free in Christ. I have fun. And I think the main thing is, and you know, people, they, act, they thought I was crazy. And I was trying to do the whip and everything. But my thing with that is <laughs> that that is not my God. You know, I don't glorify secular music. I don't glorify secular dances. I don't glorify anything that is not God. I, God is my God. And that's the difference between me and other, you know, as Christians and other lukewarm Christians or non-Christians. You can have fun. It's totally okay to have fun. Fun is good. We are kingdom. We should be having more fun than the secular people because they're in bondage. We are free. I can do the whip and not feel like I'm in bondage to, you know, secular music or anything demonic. And I, you know, I should make another video about secular music and that and TV, television. But, um... I don't glorify that stuff. I don't I don't glorify that. And so, um, I don't know. I it was just something that I thought about, you know, that had really been pressing my heart because people are always like, I can't believe you would think like that or you would say that. 
and um, I, I think I'm pretty human and pretty in love with the Lord. And so I just do what God leads me to do. And I have fun doing it. I like to dance. I like to sing. And that is okay. As long as you don't glorify this stuff and make this stuff the center. I don't find my identity in that. So, like, when people laugh at me and say, oh, you can't do the whip. I'm like, I don't find my identity in that. But it's not just the whip, guys. Like, I keep mentioning that. But it's, like, other things that people get surprised about Rebel for Christ for doing or saying. I know me and my friend went to the pool the other day. And we were talking about twerking and stuff and we were like yeah I mean we were like you know kind of discussing would it be okay you know as far as us doing that for our husband you know as far as preparing for our husband not for a party um with random people but we're talking about to please our husband with how would that like would that be okay and so we came up with the conclusion that you know it might be because, you know, you want to keep the love alive. You want to stay spontaneous with your husband. I mean, I don't know. I'm not married. So I'm not going to make any claims for that. But anyways, I'm just saying that conversation. And then still, like, my mom was there. And she was like, what? Twerking? I can't believe you talking like that. You real Christian. Christians. Anyways, it was like that, just that judgment of Christians. And it's like non-religious people. non non-religious people give me religious standards give you religious standards and I just have some verses for us to all remember and we're just going to go over these verses and remember these now remember that I love you and God loves you and I really just pray that this video kind of gives you a little bit of encouragement. If you've been going through this, I want you to know that you are not alone. I have been going through it too. Contact me, message me um, on how you dealt with it. You know, when the persecution of non-Christians, you know, we are, or Christians, we are a body of Christ. And I always say that we need to love each other. Whenever, you know, all this throwing sticks at each other all the time. It, it doesn't make sense because the devil is constantly at us anyways. We don't need anybody else throwing sticks at us. Let's love each other with the same Christ that the same love that Christ did. The same love that Christ has loved us. And I just pray that y'all, you know, this is just a very encouraging video. I have work today, so I'll be at work. Um, I love you so, 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 so much. And continue watching. Stay tuned to Rebel for Christ. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook. No. Yeah. I love you so much, but I am just a princess. God loves you more, and he is the king of kings. So stay tuned to his love. Stay attached to his love. Get connected with him. And like I said, I, and that's a very important part. Let me say that again. I love you, but I am just a princess. I love you, but I am just his princess meaning i don't have a say in all things my father is the king of kings just like your father is i am a servant just like you i am a daughter just like you i am not jesus so do not hold me to crazy expectations because i'm never claiming to be perfect i have a perfect god but i won't say i won't fall i just know i have someone to catch me and I think that's the beauty of being so crazy in love with Jesus. He will constantly catch you. His grace is so sufficient. I don't have to be perfect because my God is. Thank you for watching. I love you. Homie, I'm going to take that, take that. Homie, I'm going to take that, take that. Homie, I'm going to take that.